Welcome to Highway Homestead. Today, I'm gonna be cleaning out our duck and goose house, which uh, we hinted at, but we never really showed it off. So you'll get to see the capabilities of this duck and goose house. And I'll get to use my tractor, which I'm excited about, as always. Well, the roosters are crowing, gonna rise and shine. Daylights are burning, ain't got a lot of time. When the day is over and the work's all done, we'll sing and dance and have a little fun. Do it, Here's Fluffy. What she's happened? our new, she's our new barn cat. Oh. For those of you who've never seen this, this is our duck and goose house. Um, one side is for the ducks. You can kind of see back there. I've got a barrier, and that keeps the geese on the other side. And yes, they are actually trained. Over here we have the nesting boxes, which the ducks have used, but. Lucy, our goose, have yet, has yet to, to use it. So on this side, you've got the goose section of it. So the one thing we like about this is uh, it mimics our barn a little bit, but Courtney wanted to be able to get in it and uh, clean it out pretty easily. So this roof actually has hinges and raises up. So here I can pop it open and I can get here and clean this out. You can see I've got it propped open and uh, this is a little overdue. You can tell that's where they sleep, that's where the ducks sleep. But I'm gonna get in here and clean all this out and give them some fresh savings. Now I'm showing how all the bad, the, all the poop and bad shavings and then he's gonna put in more shavings after he gets done sh shoveling, aren't you? Nope. These are our goats, Twister and Hamburger. That usually I call, call the little one with the black coat that one right there scream burger because I, he always screams. There are geese who hate our chickens. You might be able to see Fluffy, our new house barn cat. Except it's sad because she used to have a sister, but the sister, something got her, I think. We still have Fluffy. Yeah. Hi. She's like, I am not into this. I hate this. This is how much she's showing by now. <laughs> Looks very bad. Yuck. That's a lot of poop. So, the nice thing with the tractor is, is I can fill the scoop up with the bucket with uh, all the shavings and compost, and then I can take it and dump it directly onto the garden where I want it. That saves me some time. It is a very handy tool. It saves my back. So the the one thing that really surprises me, and I guess it shouldn't, is unlike the chickens, which scratch around and did all this to break down faster, these ducks uh, really just don't, they don't mix this up. Now their poop sits on the top and they don't scratch it up. So underneath all of the, the big layer of poop, the deep bedding was still almost brand new pine shavings, what it looked like. Now that I've got it cleaned out for the most part, I'm going to take some DE, diatomaceous earth, and sprinkle it in here, just uh, if there's any kind of parasites or whatnot there. Hopefully it'll kill them, keep them down. And then we'll put in a fresh layer of uh, pine shavings for these ducks to, to have. I didn't show this, but this is what one of the uh, egg boxes look like, nesting box. The roof opens up, and then for the ducks we have three dividers, and on the goose side we have two. And then, uh, we have this little piece of hardware cloth there so that they have fresh air going all the time. And what I've done here on the eaves is I left enough room that that'll actually fit an extension cord through it. So when we have goslings or, or ducklings, we can run a heat map out here to them. Right. Got the fresh shavings in there. Waiting on the ducks to get in there to waddle around. 
Well, that's pretty much it for uh, cleaning that out. Same thing on the goose side. You can see the ducks going over there to be curious. They are one of our favorite animals on the homestead. And until next time, this is Highway Homestead. See you next time.